What's up, YouTube? Bloodspawn here with today's mail day. A little late. It's uh, 9 18 here on East Coast. I was in New Jersey all day today. Just got back off the ferry. So, was expecting a bunch of mail. I actually made a couple comments to Stacy and uh, Boss Hog. Like, you know, expecting, you know, it sucks when we have back to back no mail days. And, you know, I was talking to all. I was just joking that, you know, like, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting 20. I want at least 20. But, I didn't get 20 today. I got 21 actually, so it was pretty uh pretty funny. Not only did I get what I wanted, but I actually got an extra one. Um, and it ends up pretty good uh, layout. I got eight um, uh, eBay purchases or sports card form and 13 TTMs. So still good ratio, more TTMs than auction wins, which is always good. Uh, so jump right into it. We'll do all the uh, eBay and sport card form stuff first. I got a, uh, this is for the Tyrone Smith Tops Chrome Rainbow. This is the uh, Orange Refractor. Just a one card pickup. Next up, I got, it was a two card lot. Two of the same card. DeMarco Murray Rookie Cards out of uh, Tops Legends. Next two from the same, another two card lot. Two uh, DeMarcus Ware Rookie Cards I didn't have, which there's a few of those. This is the, uh, Let's see, it's the Throwback Threads, Rookie Hogs. It's uh, numbered to 750. And the Tops Turkey Hill, this is the uh, red bordered one. I have the regular and the white, so this is the red one. Next up, I got a DeMarcus Ware jersey card. This is Crown Royal Majestic. I do have this card already, but mine is numbered to 50, 50 of 50. This is the uh, number 299 version, so I have both versions of that now. And the last two, or I'm sorry, the last two cards anyway, or sports cards, I uh, got a, uh, let's see, 72 tops Clemente, and real nice one here, 61 tops Clemente. So two more Clemente cards knocked off the list. <clears throat> then I got came in a little box here. Two big thick packs. This is the uh, uh, base set of the Walking Dead cards. Uh, Stacy, I was telling you about these. This is uh, there's I think 81 cards in the set. There's jersey cards and autograph cards and sketch cards and stuff. Uh, for inserts and stuff like that, but this is just the, the base set. I got this for like 10 bucks. It's pretty much got like you know, all the characters in it, uh, and then it's got like different action cards and different shots from it. So I wanted to pick those up. Don't know if I'll end up uh, using them for uh, TTM or if I'm just going to kind of you know keep it together as a little thing, and then I'll try to pick up jersey cards and autographs here and there because um, they do go actually sell pretty decent though you can get a couple of them cheap but like I saw some of them like you know they're going for you know like around the same as like sports cards go for so not sure what I'm going to do with them yet but I wanted to pick them up nine dollars free shipping couldn't beat it so and the last pickup before we get into the TTMs is uh, I got this for uh, I believe it was one penny, um, and it was like four ninety nine chips, so it was five bucks. It's a magazine. Uh, there's the name right there, Veronica Webb, and it is signed right down here. Haven't done any uh, research on the signature yet, but I just couldn't pass it off for five bucks. So do a little research on it. I think it's definitely signed. Um, but I just want to, I'll have to do a little research on her signature. Alright, so into the 13 TTMs for today. Uh, all successes, some really nice ones. This first off, as soon as I saw this, this seems to be happening more and more as the post office just cares less and less. Here's what my envelope looked like. This was out there for 272 days. Um, but so I came back with an old sticker, my old mailing address. Two signed cards, or I'm sorry, three signed. Uh, this is Zach Thomas signed two of my Diamond Kings, so I have one to uh, give away or trade, and signed my scorecard when he was on the Cowboys. So three of three from Zach Thomas. Next up from 
Santa Clarita. This uh, I don't know how long this took. It's an old address, so it's probably been out there, I'd say at least 200 days, but for some reason I didn't have it marked as pending on Star Tiger for my Dunross Americana set. This is Barry, ba uh, Barry Boswick, I believe is how you pronounce it. Signed two of them. Uh, let's see. Um, Spin City. Uh, then he was also uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's why I wanted to send to him. Okay, next up from Airmail. Took 91 days. This is actress Michelle Ryan. Sign my index card. And a nice 4x6. Pretty sure I sent one another one to her, but she only signed one. Next up from Santa Ana, California. Took 132 days. She is on ESPN. She's in the basically she, she has the title of the Queen of Cars. She's uh, in like a lot of hot rod stuff. Here's a uh, picture over here. And she put the the Queen of Cars .com. She signed it with love heart. Genevieve Chapel, I believe is how you pronounce it. Here's one, and then here's another one in front of a real nice old car. David wishing you a terrific year, Genevieve Chapel, and she sent a business card. Didn't sign it though. Next up from Los Angeles, California. Took 13 days. Signed uh, three of three. Dear David, glad you're a fan. All the best to you, buddy. And there's the index card. This is Stephen Fairberg, I believe it is. F-I-E-R-B-E-R-G. He's a cinematographer and director. Here's a movie poster for Nightmare on Elm Street 4. And also a movie poster for Love and Other Drugs. Signed that one as well. So pretty cool goat success. Next up from New York, New York. Took 42 days. This is Laura Bonatti, I believe is how you pronounce it. Signed 44 index card. Dear, da or, Dear David, best wishes. XO, Laura Bonatti. Signed a uh, little printout of a Playboy cover. She was on the, like, what is it called? Playboy Club uh, TV show, I believe it was. There's that one. Here's one of her in the Playboy outfit from the show and here's another one and she also filled out my questionnaire still got a few of these coming in here and there what are your overall thoughts on signing autographs I think autograph for people personal use are great uh, a fun hobby how many autograph requests do you get an average on week four to five do you have any preferences on what you sign how many items you sign or any other words of advice I would say it's best to always include a self-address and stamp envelope and don't include too many items. Do you yourself have any autographs? She says she doesn't. Do you ever get any gifts or weird items? No, everything has been on the up and up. So no weird items, which is surprising because it's Playboy related. Next up, Santa Clarita. Took 42 days. This one was a cool one. Uh, actress Jerry Ryan. Here's a shot on her on uh, Star Trek. And here was nice background here. Uh, next up from Los Angeles, California. Took 41 days. Second success for her. Uh, first one, she only sent one, uh, signed one photo and two index cards. So I don't, I had an extra index card. So I kind of don't like that. So I, this time I sent three photos and an index card she signed another index card Eva Amuri signed a real nice maxim shot to David signed this one here right there and one more so pretty cool Next up, another uh, Walking Dead success. I'm glad to get this. Uh, the Research Triangle region in North Carolina. That's where it's coming back from. Took only 13 days. This is Addie Miller. 
She played the little girl zombie as she inscribed little girl. And here is a picture of her. To David, Addie Miller, little girl. Signed this Walking Dead poster to David, Addie Miller, little girl, and signed the one that I'm just now starting. So, pretty cool. Always got the Walking Dead stuff coming from North Texas. Anytime I get Texas, I pretty much know it's going to be a cowboy. Took 13 days. I was hoping it was Demarcus, but it wasn't. It was Mr. I Only Score Touchdowns, Laurent Robinson. Great uh, acquisition for us. I hope he sticks around. Signed three real nice shots. This one here. Number inscribed it. Signed this one here. A little chest bump in the end zone with uh, Spider Man Des Bryant. Signed it right down there. And number inscribed as well, or right there. It's kind of hard to say. And signed this one here, which I love. Just an awesome catch right there. And number inscribed. So awesome stuff from a cowboy. You always got to get cowboys in. And three more. These are all uh, big 8 by 10s Got an uh, email success. Uncanceled stamp. This took 77 days. Got a nice 8x10 from Jenny Mai or May, I believe it is. There's the name right there. And a nice 8x10. She was on a TV show like uh, What Not to Wear or something like that. I can't remember what it was called. And she inscribed it Strut Strong and then signed it right there. So always cool. 8x10 email free and an uncanceled thing. So I actually got paid for this one. All right, next up, my uh, 8x10 coming back on canceled stamps. So this will go on the next person I'm going to send this to. This is my 8x10 of Walking Dead. And the person listened exactly what I wanted. You can see the size of it. Signed it real small, just the signature. And they put G on there, which is the name of the character. This is uh, Neil... Neil Brown Jr. This took 36 days. This is the one that I'm sending out to all my people that have gotten successes from Walking Dead, which I think I'm up to like six or seven by now. So this will go right back out probably tomorrow. And, uh, last success for today, I believe. Yes. This was awesome one. I was actually talking when we were uh, recording uh, the uh, round table for... The autograph Weekly with Zane, everybody, I was talking to him about uh, this one. He was like, you know, ask me how long it's been out there and say it still might come back. Sure enough, today in my envelope, uncanceled stamps, got a ton of them today. This took 139 days. This is a big one for me. One half of Blood Spawn, my name on YouTube. This is the uh, creator of Spawn. I sent him three pretty cool items. This is actually like the uh, video game cover for the uh, video game spawn back on old uh, the original Xbox that I had. Signed right there, Todd McFarlane. So that's awesome. This right here uh, looks like a you know, regular piece of cardboard, but it actually, you can barely see it right there, is my uh, spawn figure. I think there's a cup in front of it right now, but you can kind of see the wings. This actually like wraps around the back of it and creates a background for that for that figure. And he signed it right there. So that's cool. I'm gonna and this pokes through the holes, holds it on there. So this will make that statue signed by Todd McFarlane. And the biggest thing I wanted from him, I own every spawn comic book there is. Spawned number one. Signed right there, Todd McFarlane. So, awesome success, man. This is probably the best comic book in my collection now. And by my favorite my favorite comic book uh, person of all time, Spawn. So, Todd McFarlane, man, it's freaking awesome. I've seen other people get them back, and I was just worried, man. I was like, you know, of course I won't get them back. It just seems to get how it goes. And, of course, came today on a great mail day. So, that's it for me, guys. 15 minute video, sorry, but hey man, 21 packages, beat that. Peace.